today I'm back with another dedicated hair video and today's wig is from West Kiss Hair. Guys, I keep touching this hair because it's just so silky like and it's bone straight as well as you guys can see like the hair is so soft and so silky. So today I'm working with their 5x5 HD lace closure wig and the length of the wig is 24 but I did go in to cut the tips. And today I decided to go for a deep side part and as you guys can see so if you want to see how I installed and styled this wig from start to finish then make sure you stay tuned and carry on watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Hi guys, okay so this is the wig from West Kiss Hair. I've already gone ahead to bleach the knots as you guys can see so this is a 5x5 five five closure wig so i've bleached the knots i've plucked the hairline to an extent i didn't really pluck it too much because it already came with you know a natural hairline so i didn't have to do too much to the hairline so you guys can see the hair is literally full all the way to the tips but what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut the tips because i want to go for a blunt cut type of look today so i know you want to go down go down okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and install the wig i like to use my wax stick around the hairline just so i can have all the hair going in one direction and nothing gets in the way whilst um gluing it down so like i said this is a five by five um lace closure wig so a normal lace front wig would be from ear to ear but because this is a closure wig you guys can see the construction is slightly different so what i do when i wear my closure wigs that are constructed like this is i just place the side i place it over my ears as you can see and then obviously the hair is going to cover it up so no one's really going to see that all you're seeing is just the lace and the hair itself it looks crazy right now but just bear with me okay so okay so i've just cut off the excess lace and this is what the lace looks like without me gluing it down as you guys can see this looks pretty good because i've not applied anything and this is how it looks it feels quite secured as well i've just used the elastic straps at the back of the wig and i've just clipped them together and this is how it looks as you can see it's quite secure on my head so but i am going to glue it down just for demonstration purpose you know i'm going to use my bed head spray as usual listen if you watch my videos and you don't use bed head by now i don't know what you're doing you've got to be what's that i'm so sorry like i don't mm -mm. bed head is what you need to start using i'm just going to move this back a little bit apply the spray The hold is quite strong so you really don't need to apply too much of this unless you're trying to keep your wig on for a while but I take my wigs off every night. I don't really like sleeping with my wigs because I find them quite uncomfortable while going to bed. And then now I'm just gonna use my comb and just press that into my skin. Literally closure doesn't require for you to do too much. I actually sometimes prefer closures over frontals obviously a frontal is going to give you that va va voom type of look where you can flip your hair you can do so many different hairstyles like frontals are definitely more versatile but a closure are very easy and closures can be versatile as well to be fair like if you're working with a 5x5 five five or a 6x6 six six, or um maybe even a 7x7 seven seven lace closure you can do so much with them they're more or less like mini frontals you know but if you're looking for that quick on the go type of wig then I would recommend you get a 5x5 five five lace closure wig and they're very beginner friendly so if you're someone who you're just getting into wearing wigs and you're not used to wearing wigs or maybe you just don't like the whole stress of like gluing down a frontal every time you want to put your hair together and stuff then definitely look into getting a 5x5 five five lace closure wig as you can see that's literally it took me two minutes to you know just glue the lace down and that's it all done so the wig is glued on now and guys do you know what i feel like this hair is definitely not 1b i was i was really really trying to, i was trying to figure out what was different but it's the hair color this is not 1b this is giving color one or jet black type of vibe okay so west kiss hair i don't know if this hair came pre-dyed or what pre-colored or whatever you want to call it but this is not 1b 
but let's see. I'm thinking of doing a side parting today. I mean, the hairstyle I have in mind is more like, I hope it comes out how I have it pictured in my head. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and hot comb the hair. So if by now you don't have a hot comb, I have to ask you again, what are you doing? Like literally, I don't think there's, I think everyone by now should have a hot comb. If you wear wigs, you should definitely have a hot comb. Even if you don't wear wigs, like, do you know what I mean? Like you should have a hot comb. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hot comb my hair into place. He picked up for me, yes Cause I know you got the recipe, yeah Nobody gonna do the thing that you do Come and take this ride, be my chauffeur Okay, so I'm done with the hot comb and this is what it looks like. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do some baby hairs. This is very optional, but depending on the hairstyle that you're doing or going for, then you can decide to do this or not do this. So I'm gonna um, do some baby hairs on the side. I feel like this kind of gives it a more frontal look, should I say, when you do baby hairs. Okay, so I'm done with the baby hairs now. I actually did go in and cut them a bit shorter because, you know, I think this is fine. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray some um, hairspray, literally on the back of anything. I'll spray on the back of my hand and then tap that and just put that over my baby hairs just so it stays in place, literally. And that is how I lay my baby hairs now. You guys can see this looks so much better already compared to how it looked initially. So now I'm gonna go back to the hair and style. Okay, so I'm done installing the wig. Guys, this looks so much better. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and straighten the hair. So because I've gone for a blunt cut today, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a slight bump to the tips of the hair. I've already straightened the hair, so I don't really need to do much to it. Aside from just add, you know, the bump to the tips of the hair and then that's it. Okay, so this is the finished look. Guys, I'm so in love with this hairstyle. And you guys know I normally tend to stick to middle if I'm having straight hair. But today I said, you know what, let me try and do a side parting. And guys, this is really, really nice. Like, this hair feels extremely silky. Like, I don't know if you guys can see from the camera but it's so silky and it's so soft as well but let me know what you think of this hairstyle in the comment section below when it comes to the let me show you how the tips look as well i'm so happy i decided to cut the hair into a blunt cut this just gives it a different look instead of just having you know the normal standard like just straight hair like i said this wig is from west kiss hair and this is their 5x5 hd lace closure the length of the wig when it came was 24 and the density of the wig is 200 so the hair is just perfect like the density is perfect just the right amount of hair that you need and guys this hair is i don't know if you can see like can you guys see this like the hair is just so silky like it's literally just moving so i think now the hair's probably like a 22 20 to 22 let's see yeah this is probably like a 22 22 inch yeah the hair is just so silky
So I'm going to make sure to list all the information that you guys need in the description box below. So please make sure you check down below for anything you'd like to know. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.